Yes, um, hope you have understood that program which is given in my block. Uh, if not, I will explain the program in this video. Okay, I have declared a pin, variable called pin and uh, I have taken the input uh, from the user uh, by using the input method. Uh, like a uh, user will be giving the different inputs. So, I have given the, I have taken the, I have, I have been taking the input from the user. Now, the first time, I have taken the length of the pin because the question was that uh, uh, some person was asked in the Google, like, uh, uh, we have to check whether the user has entered the 4-digit number. So, I have checking the uh, length of the pin which the user has been entered. Okay, I have used the if condition. If uh, I, I put this length in, in uh, i variable, then I have used the if condition to check whether the user has entered 4-digit pin or not. Okay, uh, if he has entered, the you will be printing like user has entered 4-digit pin. Uh, if not, invalid number of digits. Uh, let's play this program. Uh, let me click like uh, 1, 2, 3. This is a 4-digit four four digit pin. So, let's give enter. Here, you can see the message has appeared like user has entered 4-digit pin. And I show if not user doesn't enter some pin or like uh, 56 let's try this yeah you can see that uh, invalid number of digits that's it guys hope you have understood this program and follow our facebook page for more videos like this thanks for watching